A few weeks ago we had our monthly chicken processing day where we put in our freezer 40 Murray's Big Red Broilers from McMurray Hatchery. <laughs> And at the last minute, for whatever reason, I decided to keep one. I actually should have kept at least two, maybe three. I saved one red hen broiler from the freezer and decided to keep it. Whenever you're introducing new chickens to a flock, it can be kind of stressful because you know you want the chicken to be happy and you want everyone to get along. You don't want no pecking, but you know they're just being chickens. And you want them to be chickeny, chickeny. The first few weeks are always kind of uh, a little bit stressful for us because you know you want the chicken to be happy. But sometimes that chicken will want to get away. Did you catch her? Yeah. Yeah. So we kind of cornered her. We left the door open. We kind of chased her around, and she went inside. We had the chicken in that little chicken tractor, and it just kind of flew out. Yeah, she flew out. I went to yeah. give her water and she opened the door and she just flew right out. And then we were afraid she'd like took off. <laughs> she took she off. She went in the bushes. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, that's it. Forget it. She lives in the bushes now. And the, we left feed out for her and then she saw this open. So she kind of came back. We named her Mary. <laughs> <laughs> she's got food, she's got water. <laughs> Mary here. Mary, our Murray's Big Red Broiler chicken that we saved from chicken butchering. Saved her from our freezer. We're gonna keep her and maybe she'll lay some eggs for us. I don't know, I just figured we'd, we'd try it out. But she keeps on getting out. She keeps on flying over the netting, so we need to clip her wings. All right, Mary. It's easier when you have two people to do this, but you could do it with one. If it's just one person, you kind of want to get on your knees and you just want to trim. It's almost like giving a haircut. It doesn't hurt them. You don't want to go too close to these other feathers down here. You just kind of want to trim these. And usually you just want to do one side. And if they're still flying out, do the other side. Just giving them a haircut. It's all right. They're, and these feathers are going to grow back. Eventually they'll grow back and you have to do it again. It's all right, Mary. It's all right. Take some water. Don't fly out. It's just after dark and we're gonna put our new broiler chicken that we just, that we saved from the freezer. Uh, we're gonna put her in with um, the rest of the chickens in our chicken coop. Uh, she's been in here for maybe about a week. That's just so the other chickens can get used to her or used to her presence. Everybody sleeping. Good morning, Freddy. Good morning, everyone. It's the next morning. Everyone's just getting up this morning and out of the chicken coop. Let's see how our new broiler chick did. Hey Mary, you coming out? Bernice all puffed up over here. Bernice, good morning. She probably does not know what to do, um, but you know, we're just gonna let her be. Let her, let her figure it out. I'm gonna open this up, just in case she gets out. All right, there's Mary over there. She finally got out of the coop. She's right over there with Sally Henny Penny. She's not freaking out. They're not pecking at her. At least right now, anyways. 
We'll see tonight when everyone starts going to bed, see what she does. I still, still think she's still not sure what to do. We've been giving Mary here, our broiler, her separate feed. She's still scared of me. Probably because I butchered all her, <laughs> all her chicken friends. We added a water, an extra water here, feed, even though they're eating it. Another water here. He's trying to creep up there, trying to get some food. <laughs> this needs a flashlight, it's too dark. Buddy. Oh yeah, she's in there. Mary, are you in there? <laughs> why is Freddy sleeping in the nesting box? <laughs> Freddy, I noticed that there was poop in there. I was like, why is he in there? That must be a new thing. Freddy, what are you doing in there? Are you trying to lay an egg? I think he's trying to help her. Mm -hmm. like, you trying to help me, Mary? The first time she went in there, she was making these little calls. Yeah. And um, I heard his deep voice making a call. I think he's just trying to like make her feel more comfortable. No, oh, that's sweet. <laughs> well, I'm glad she went in there on her own. Yeah. Yay. I would say up to a month, maybe a few weeks of getting that chicken used to everyone else or everyone else used to that chicken. Uh, but now, after a few weeks in, it seems like they're all kind of getting along. She's going up to bed in the chicken coop at night. Uh, they're all letting her do that. And then she's coming out and she's hanging out with the crew. I may save another broiler chicken, but I cannot do that till next year because we're only doing Cornish Cross and I don't want to save any Cornish Crosses. I'd rather save a big red broiler. Again, this is kind of an experiment to see how she does. You know, I don't know how a broiler chicken actually does uh, laying eggs. So we're gonna see how she does laying eggs. We're gonna see how she is with, you know, raising her and, and, and seeing how she acts and monitoring her. And who knows, maybe we'll have other baby chickens with her. So far, so good. It looks like everyone's getting along. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you guys on the next one.